Hello everyone. It's my pleasure to share our recent work at the International Workshop on Mining Actionable Insights from Social Networks. This talk is about explainable detection of fake news and cyberbullying on social media. I'm Zhen Dali from National Chengdong University, Taiwan. In this talk, I will mainly focus on discussing explainable fake news detection and show the proposed model can be extended for explainable cyberbullying detection. As everyone knows, fake news has become a popular topic worldwide, no matter where you are. Very interestingly, if we look at Google Trend, there are tremendous interest coming up about fake news since late 2016, following some astonishing controversial news events in the world, such as Britain proposed to exit European Union, where the culture of boldly claim every week. UK sent 350 million pounds to Brussels. I would spend it on the National Health Service. This letter has been proved as a lie. UK did not send 350 million pounds to EU every week. And the living EU would not give the country that much a week to spend on National Health Service. In 2016 presidential election in the US since November, although the intelligence agencies conclude that Russian government has interfered the election by undermining Hillary Clinton's electability, Donald Trump repeatedly criticized the agency's conclusion, saying there is lack of evidence and calling the issue a media report fake news. In January 2018, there is associated with the fake news award given to mainstream news media proposed by President Trump. The campaign was to select the most dishonest and corrupt media of the year, and with an online poll to vote for the fake faker and the fake news. In October 2018, the blatant murder of a Arabia uh, journalist triggered another spike of interest in fake news. Again, although the CIA concluded that he was murdered by Saudi government, US government denied that by claiming there is no solid conclusion. Recently, the COVID-19 pandemic has come to dominate the social media. Fake news and false information on COVID-19 can spread just as quickly as the virus itself. The massive number of COVID-19 fake news has reached historical high. You can refer to the corresponding link of this information in Wikipedia page. So what is fake news? It is a story or statement whose truth value is unverified or deliberately false. If you use social media very often, it is especially not uncommon to you. For example, in Mark Zuckerberg's Facebook post, he mentioned that he will give away 99% of his Facebook shares value at 45 billion today during his lifetime. A message claimed that Lucky user could win 4.5 million by immediately sharing and linking a thank you message to Mark Zuckerberg. This message has been verified to be a fake news by a very well known fact checking website, Notice. In general, information disorder can be categorized into three major types disinformation, misinformation, and male information. This information like fake news fabricates content is fake or inaccurate information that is intentionally spread to mislead or deceive. Misinformation like false information and urban legend is false content shared by a person who does not realize it is false or misleading. Male information like harassment and the hate speech is to describe true information that is shared with an intent to cause harm. Misinformation and disinformation can be mutually considered to each other. 
So why should we study fake news? We can at least find three major impacts of fake news spreading. In political aspect, fake news has affected 2016 U.S. presidential election. More than half of frequently discussed election stories are fake. In economic aspect, a tweet that states President Obama was injured in an explosion, wiped out 130 billion in stock value. In social and psychological aspects, study has shown people become irrational or vulnerable when facing fake news, along with an around 55% differentiation accuracy. Social media play a key role in the spread of fake news. In social media, fake news is easily and fast created. As of August 2017, around 67% of Americans get their news from social media. Interconnected social relationship on social media accelerates the dissemination of fake news. Interactions function in social media, such as share, like, and comment, allow users to forward, participate in, and discuss information. Besides, social media also accelerates the evolution of fake news based on the idea of echo chamber, which means bias information are amplified by communication and the repetition. From the technical viewpoint, how can we develop computational approaches to detect fake news based on data collected from social media. A large number of historical fake news and rumors are verified by fact-checking website like factcheck.org and snowpiece.com. This website allows users to provide unconfirmed messages and collectively verify these messages by official confirmation. The verified true or false labels can be considered as the ground truth of training data for machine learning algorithms. Another key to make machine learning applicable to social media fake news detection is the message themselves. Even a source message posted and spread on Twitter, like this one. As time goes by, people retweet and comment on it. The sequence of comments reflects public opinion on this message. Terms, phrases, questioning, and other sentiment hidden in the text comment can be used as feature in machine learning. We can extract different text-based features from comments to represent the source tree. Remember that social connection between users on social media allow convenient information publication. A fake news is usually created and posted by grassroots user than promoted by some influential account. For an example here, an anti-Trump fake message is created by a user with only 40 followers. Then it is promoted by influential user with thousands K followers, like this one and this one. From here, you can find two useful information for fake news detection. One is the retreat sequence that depicts how the source tree is propagated. The other is user profile, like the number of followers. Here we arrange what we have for fake news detection on social media. We have the text content of the source tree, user profile of the original poster, and the AV retweeter, and the retweet comment with timestamp that can be further organized as a propagation tree based on the follower follow e relationship in Twitter. The tree root is the source tree. We are allowed to extract feature that depicts the source tree, poster user profile, retweeter user profile, time and speed of publication, and how the source tree is sprayed based on the publication tree. Together with the ground truth label obtained from fact checking website, now machine learning techniques can be applied to learn to detect whether a source tree is fake or not. However, in reality, this information is not always accessible. 
We usually have only easy cloud information, including source tree, user profiles, and timestamp retreat sequence without comment. The publication tree is not accessible. The reason is twofold. Most users tend to reshare and like a tree rather than leaving comment. In other words, only related few users leave comment. Second, it is costly to crowd the set of followers and followees. So it is difficult to construct the follower followee web that is used to create the publication tree. What we usually have in a more realistic setting, including source tree, user profile, and the sequence of retweet user. To convince people a tree is fake or true, we want the fake news detection to be capable of explainability. We require a machine learning model to explain why a message is detected as fake. People usually ask, if you claim it is a fake news, how can you prove it? Which word in the source tree reveal true or false information? Who are the suspicious user? What do suspicious user look like? In other words, given a source tree, a fake news detection model is expected to not only accurately predict whether it is a fake, but also highlight the evidential turns and some suspicious retweet user along with their profiles. With such evidences, the authorities or government agencies are allowed to do some timely action. Given a short text source tweet, along with its retweet sequence of user and the user feature vector that depict user profile, our goal of fake news detection is to predict whether the source tree is fake or not. It is a binary prediction classification task. The second goal is to highlight some user who have ever retrieved the source tree and highlight some word in the source tree that can interpret why the source tree is identified as a fake one. We compare the setting of our work with the most re relevant studies in this table. The uniqueness of our setting lies in targeting a social media show text, require no user comments, and a low model explainability. Detecting fake news on social media without long text news article in mass media, and relying no publication structures make the task realistic, but at the same time make the task challenging because we have less information. Our study is also first attempt to provide model explainability in short text fake news detection in social media. We have developed a novel model, well aware called Tension Network, GCAN, to predict fake news based on the source tree and the corresponding retrieve user sequence, which can be also considered as the user publication. The GCA model consists of six components. The first component is to extract user feature vector. The second component is source tree encoding, which is to generate the representation of word in the source tree. The third component is user publication representation which is to model and represent how source tree is propagated by user using convolutional neural network and the recurrent neural network. The fourth component is graph-aware representation learning, which is to model the potential interaction between retrieve user using graph neural network. The fifth component is dual core tension mechanism which is to capture the correlation between source tree and user publication, also between source tree and user interaction. The last component is to making prediction by concats all of the learned representations and using the fully connected along with the softmax function to generate the binary prediction result. To represent how users participate in social media, we use their metadata and profiles to define the feature vector of every user. 
The extract filter are listed here. They are mainly extracted from self-description, screen name, followers and followees, number of tweets, time of the first tweet, verify or not, allowing your positioning or not, and so on and so forth. The given source tree is represented by a word label encoder. The input is the one half vector E of each word in source tree. Since the length of every source tree is different, we perform zero padding. We first create a fully connected layer to generate word embeddings V, and then we use gated recurrent unit GRU to learn the word sequence representation from V. The word embeddings generated by GRU is denoted as S here. The propagation of source tree is triggered by a sequence of users time per seed. We use the extract filter vector along with every three sequence of users who spray the source tree to learn user propagation representations. The idea is that user features in real news propagations are different from those of fake ones. We have two different ways to learn user propagation representations. One is GRU and the other is convolutional neural network. Both input are the feature of users, X here. Then output of GRU and convolutional neural network are H and C respectively. We create a graph to model the potential interaction between user who retrieve the source tree. The idea is that some correlation between user features can reveal the possibility that the source tree is fake or not. Since the true interaction between users are unknown, a fully connected graph is constructed. To incorporate user feature in the graph, each edge is associated with a weight. This weight is computed based on the cosine similarity of user feature vector. We use the matrix A to represent the way between any pair of nodes in the graph. Then we use graph convolutional neural network to learn the interaction between user. We stack multiple layer GCN here so that the higher the interaction can be captured and encode in the output embedding G here. We think the evidence of fake news can be reflected by investigating which part of source tree are concerned by which kind of retrieve user. And the fact evidence can be also reflected by how retrieve user are interact with each other. We propose a dual core attention mechanism that consists of two parts. The first part is source interaction core attention, which is attend to the source tree world and grab aware interaction users simultaneously. The second one is source propagation call attention, which is attend to the source tree world and the propagation user at the same time. Using the call attention learning, our model will be capable of the explainability by looking into the attention weight between retreat user in the propagation and the words in the source tree. Here is dual call attention mechanism. We use source interaction call attention to demonstrate the idea. We first compute a proximity matrix F that allow user interaction attention space and source tree world attention space to be transformed from and to each other. By treating the proximity matrix F as feature, we can learn to predict source and propagation attention map H. Then we can generate the attention weight A of source word and the propagation user using softmax function. Eventually, we can generate the attention vector S hat one and the G hat for source tree word and propagation user based on weighted sum using the obtained attention weight. The same idea can be applied to source propagation call attention. We can get the source interaction call attention embeddings 
S hat one, G hat, a source propagation call attention embedding, S hat two, and the C hat, and uh, the sequential propagation embedding H, which is a pulling from the GRU based user representation, so that we can obtain the final embedding vector F. Such a concave embedding is then fit into a multi layer fit forward neural network that finally predicts the label Y. A cross entropy is used for the loss function. We conduct experiments to answer two questions. The first question is that whether the proposed GCN is able to outperform steadily our method for fake news prediction. The second question is that can GCN generate convincing explanation that highlight why a tree is fake? Two well-known datasets, Twitter 15 and Twitter 16, are used for the experiment. Each dataset contains a collection of source tree along with their corresponding sequence of retrieved users. Here is the statistics. You can find the numbers of fake and true source tree are nearly equal. They are balanced. We compare the proposed GCN with the state-of-the-art method and some best nights. State of the art model including CSI, CRNN, and the DFAN. The experimental metrics include accuracy, precision, recall, and F1. We randomly choose 70% uh, data for training and the remaining for testing. The conduct training and test is repeat 20 times, and the average value is reported. Our model is turned GCN. To find the effectiveness of our graph aware representation learning, we create another version, GCL minus G, which denotes our model without graph convolutional part. The main results are shown here. We can clearly find the proposed GCN significantly outperform the best competing method over all metrics across two datasets. Improving the performance by around 17% and 15% on average, even without the proposed square aware representation. GCN minus G can improve the best competing methods by uh, 14 percentage and uh, 3 percentage, respectively. Such promising results prove the effectiveness of GCN for fake news detection. The result also bring three insight. First, GCN is better than GCN minus G by certain percentage improvement. This shows the usefulness of graph aware representation. Second, the dual co-attention mechanism in GCN is quite useful, as it previously outperformed the best non co attention state of the art model CSI. Third, both GCN minus G and DFAN are co attention based model. Additional sequential feature learned from the retreat user sequence in GCN is able to significantly boost the performance. We also conduct the experience to find whether the GCN can perform early detection of fake news. We report the performance by varying the number of observed retreat users per source tree as the x axis. It can be found that our GCN consistently and significantly outperform the competitor. Even only 10 retreaters, GCN can still achieve 90% accuracy. Such a result tells GCN is able to generate accurate early detection of the spreading fake news, which is crucial when defending this information. Here we show the world based explainability of GCN. We select two source trees to study the explainability. Here are such two trees. One is true and the other is fake. The co-attention way attend on source tree world and retrieve user by source propagation co-attention along GCN to provide explainability. By showing where high attention way distributed, evidential world of and the user in prediction fake news can be revealed. GCN predict the first three to be fake, with stronger attention on words, including breaking and strict. And the 
GCM predicts the second trait as a real one, since it contains words including confirm and the irrelevant. Such results may correspond to the common knowledge that the fake news tend to use dramatic and obscure words where real news is attained by confirmed and fact-checking related words. We also show the publication-based explainability of GCAN. We use the retreat order in publications to unfold the behavior difference between fact and true news. We randomly pick three fact and three true source tweets, F1 to F3 and T1 to T3. We plot their weight from source publication quotation, in which the horizontal directions from left to right denote the order of retreat. The results show that to determine whether a source tree is true, one should first examine the characteristics of user who early retreat the source tree. The evidence of fake news in terms of user characteristics may even be disputed in the publication. The source publication quotation or our GCN can further provide explanation to discover the traits of the suspicious user and the world they focus on. We can find that the traits of suspicious user in retreat publication can be account are not verified, shorter account creation time, shorter user description length, and the shorter web page length to the user who posts the source tweet. In addition, when they highly attend our words include breaking pipeline. Within such kind of explanation, can business interpret the detection of fake news so as to understand the potential uh, sustenance? Let us shift to cyberbullying detection on social media. We will show you the proposed GCN can be easily extend for explainable cyberbullying detection on social media. Cyberbullying is commonly defined as the electronic transmission in insulting, embarrassing, aggressive, and intentional comment, photo, or video. The act is repeatedly performed over time against a victim that cannot easily defend him or herself. Study has also shown a significant proportion of young teens are under the threat of cyberbullying on social media. Instagram is a particular interest as it is a media-based social network, which allows users to post and comment on image. An example of Instagram cyberbullying media sanction is shown here. Cyberbullying in Instagram can be happened in different ways including posting a humiliating image of someone else by perhaps editing the image, posting mean or hateful comment, aggressive caption or hashtags, creating fake profile pretending to be someone else, or leaving insulting comments here. Yeah. We can find that such kind of data is quite similar to fake news detection on Twitter. The only difference is that cyberbullying behavior are reflected by the comments. In other words, it is necessary to have the comment of source tree. Otherwise, we cannot judge whether a session is cyberbullying. Moreover, we are expected to identify which of comment attacks the original poster. That says, as explainable machine learning based cyberbullying detection model are expected to highlight which comments are more confidential in cyberbullying. The research text of explainable cyberbullying detection is similar to explainable fake news detection. Given a source tweet, along with its sequence of retweet user and the layer comments and the layer profiles, the goal is twofold. The first is to predict whether the source tree is cyberbullying. It is a binary classification problem. The second goal is to highlight some of its retweet command that can interpret why the source tree is identified as cyberbullying. The difference to fake news detection is the user command input as well as comment based explanation. The proposed GCN can be easily extended for explainable cyberbullying detection. We replace 
one component of user propagation representation learning with common representation learning here. The common encoder is hierarchical sequential encoding. Its input is a sequence of word embedding. Then a self-attention layer is to learn the correlation between words. Average pooling is conduct over self-attentive word embedding to obtain common embedding. Then the, the, the remaining part is same as original GCA model. Two real world social media data set are used to evaluate the GCN for explainable cyberbullying detection. One is Instagram data set, which contains image description and user comments. The other one is Vine, which is a mobile application website that allows users to record and edit a few second looking videos. Each Vine session also contains video description and user comment. The data statistics is shown here. The number of boolean and the non-boolean is a bit imbalance. We evaluate the GCN explainability and cyberbullying detection from the perspective of comments. To be specific, we want to see if the top rank explainable comments determined by GCN are more likely to be related to the major contexts in cyberbullying media session. We randomly select 10 media sessions to evaluate the explainability of the highlight comments. For each session, we denote the ground truth ranking by rating the explainability score from zero to four for each comment, in which zero means not explainable at all, one means explain, not explainable, two means neutral, three means somewhat explainable, and four means highly explainable. It can be also considered as highly malicious. We invite two 10 domain experts to perform the ground truth rating for every comment. The average rating are uh, used to generate the ground truth ranking list. We choose GRU with attention as the best line for comment explainability, since it can learn attention weight for each comment as a kind of explainability. Therefore, for each media session, we have two cupcake comments generated by GCN and GRU with attention respectively. The top K comments are ranked and selected using comment attention weight from high to low. To estimate the rank, rank aware explainability of comments, we use normalized discount cumulative N, NDCG, and the precision at K as the evaluation matrix and uh, we compute the difference of NDCG between GCN and GRU with attention, and uh, the difference of precision score between GCN and GRU with attention could be the final evaluation matrix. Here, K is set as 10. The results are shown here. Where media sessions are solved by the discrepancy in the matrix between two methods in a descending order. From the figures, we have two observations. First, among two 10 media sessions, GCN obtained higher precision score than GRU with attention for six cases. The overall precision score over 10 cases for GCN and GRU with attention are 0.51 and 0.41, respectively. Second, similar result can be found on NBCG score. GCN is better than GRU with attention on seven cases. And the two cases has equal NBCG score. The overall mean NDC score over two cases for GCN and GRU with attention are 0.57 and 0.36, respectively. The result clearly demonstrates the attention weight of GCN is able to highlight more evidential comment than GRU with attention. So, its explainability can be verified. 
We further demonstrate the explainable command that GCN correctly ran high but GRU with attention misses. These cases are displayed in the list here. We can find that our GCN can rank more evidential command higher than non-explainable commands. For example, the top one comment contains explicit, vulgar, and malicious taxes, then that can explain why the media session detect a cyberbullying. We can give higher attention weight to explain the comment than those neutral or unrelated comments. For example, the unrelated comment number seven here has an attention weight with 0.07, which is lower than an experimental comment number two with attention weight 0.219. Therefore, the later comment is selected to be more important evidence for cyberbullying detection. In short, GCN is able to not only accurately detect cyberbullying sessions, but also highlight evidential comment as explanations. Here, we briefly summarize this talk. In detection either fake news and the cyberbullying on social media, we have similar structures of data, including the source tree, user profile, sequence of retreat, and sequence of comments. We present a normal explainable deep learning based model, well aware called attention network, GCAN. The GCAN model is able to accurately detect fake news and cyberbullying. The main idea is twofold. One is using gram neural network to model the potential interaction between retreat user. The other is the co-attention mechanism, which captures the correlation between text and user. Besides, GCN is capable of generating four different explanations. World-based explanation reveal which world contain more evidence of fake information. Publication-based explanation display which retreater are more suspicious. Profile-based explanation tell us what do suspicious users look like. Comment-based explanation show which comments are doing cyberbullying. Also, the wisdom of crowd on social media is effect for us to detect antisocial behavior. We are still far away from automated human-like checking. To have more intelligent detection, we may need to maintain global knowledge graph to bring human common sense and build personal knowledge graph to let the model be aware of user personality. Next, let me point out some challenges and opportunity of fake news detection. First, we need to have a more effective model for accurate early detection of fake news. It is because if a fake news is widely spread, it is much easier to be trusted by users. As proven by many psychological and social theory lists here in this table. Therefore, late detection of fake news would be more difficult for us to correct users' perceptions. However, early detection is very challenging because we have very limited information for training. We may need to have unsupervised learning or something like an anonymous detection based model. Another way to deal with the task of early detection on new events is to learn event invariant features. Most of existing antisocial behavior detection model aim at learning event-centric features, which are not shared by different events, such as US election and COVID-19. Event-specific features are useful in classifying historical messages, but fail to predict new events. We need to learn event invariant feature that share among all events. It can be done by adversarial training source to remove event specific feature from embeddings. For example, as below. Even we have learned the embedding from multi-model event information, 
we can jointly optimize the accuracy of fake news detector and minimize the prediction accuracy of event label so that we can have the event invariant feature in the, in the embedding. We should also care about machine generates fake news. In the near future, an adversary attack can be applied to fake news detection. Machine generated factories can fool fake news detector by decreasing the performance. Therefore, we should come up with some defense model that is robust to adversarial attack. By using adversarial training to let the model be aware of potential text perturbation, we can have adversary aware fake news detector to maintain the performance of fake news detection. Next, in addition to passively detect fake news, we can further actively fight against the propagation of fake news on social media. It would be interesting to study how fake news propagates and when it will become outbreak in social graph. By doing so, we can design some optimization method to allocate and broadcast the clarification such that the spread of this information can be minimized and the spread of correct information can be maximized. This slide lists the major reference in this talk. The GCA model is our recent work, which has been accepted to ACL 2020. Okay, thanks everyone. I'm Chen Zhe from National Chengdu University. If you have any questions about this talk, feel free to email me. You can also find more information in my personal website. Thanks everyone. I am pleasure to share our recent work with you all.